2013. We're here with John Sullivan, Executive Director of the Free Software Foundation. Welcome, John. Thank you. Nice to have you here. So could you tell us a bit about what, what the Free Software uh, Foundation is? Sure. Uh, the Free Software Foundation is a nonprofit organization. It's founded in 1985 uh, by Richard Stallman. We're based in Boston in the United States, but we work worldwide uh, to help promote computer user freedom. And the main way that we do that is by sponsoring the GNU Project. And the GNU Project was started by Richard Stallman in 1984 uh, to create a fully free operating system. And the idea there is that uh, users need an operating system that they can use to do everything they want to do with their computer, uh, but it should be all free software. Um, so that's the, the main thing that we've been doing for the last um, 25 plus years. And uh, we serve as an organizational home for that project. We provide infrastructure for it. Um, we help promote the project. We do some fundraising for it. And uh, I'm happy to say that they just celebrated their 30th anniversary this past weekend. Congratulations. And except the GNU project, what other projects are you involved in? So we also work to promote uh, computer user freedom as a general concept and as a social movement. So we do a lot of work to help raise public awareness around the world about the idea of free software. Uh, we help protect free software through the use of licensing tools like the GNU General Public License. Uh, and we just do whatever we can, find whatever opportunities we can to try to get more people actually using free software, both GNU and non-GNU software. So what's your strategy actually to turn users to free software? So for us, the primary concern is actually the ideas behind the software. So that's what we want. That's an ethical concept. Uh, and we want everybody to agree with us about that and help protect um, those freedoms. So getting people to actually use the software can be a good way to introduce people to the ideas. Um, and then, of course, in the end, we do want everybody to be using the software. So one strategy is that we keep a, an eye out for opportunities that can make it clear to people um, why, even if they're not programmers, they should care about whether the software they're using is free or not. So we have uh, unfortunate things happen uh, a lot, such as the revelations we've had recently in the United States about the NSA eavesdropping on communications uh, and having backdoors into proprietary operating systems like Windows. So we try to take those moments and use them to show people how free software can help them in those areas they can so use. What did you do exactly for, for, uh, for related to the eavesdropping uh, events? So uh, the first thing is to make the point about how um, the NSA has been found to have backdoors in Windows and proprietary operating systems. And so that's a good reason for people to use GNU Linux. Um, not that it's impossible that GNU Linux could also have backdoors put in it, but because all the source code is available and because anybody can modify that source code and release a new version of it, it's unlikely that any backdoor would stay for very long um, and it's a much higher possibility that it would be found. Um, the second thing that we're working on is, is convincing um, people to try email encryption so to use tools like uh, GNU Privacy Guard, called GPG, to encrypt their email. Uh, because while that also may not provide foolproof protection, it does make it substantially harder for the communications to be uh, listened to. So one last question. I mean, considering that the Free Software Foundation relies on a community, so how can people get involved? How can they help? Yeah, well, the community is what it's all about. I mean, we have a, a very small actual staff based in Boston, it's usually, you know, right now it's about 13 or 14 people, but we work with you know, thousands of people literally around the world. Uh, and a lot of those people will help on a volunteer basis. So on our website, fsf.org slash volunteer, there are some opportunities listed for people to get involved. Um, also on gnu.org, uh, for those who actually do software development, there are some key areas listed, packages that need to be maintained, um, code that needs to be written. So whatever time people contribute, a few hours a week, uh, pulled together with all the other people around the world can make a big difference. And I imagine that you already have quite a strong community. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, when you look back at all the people that have contributed um, for the last 30 years, it's, it's just amazing. And there's more people interested in it now than ever before because everybody is using computers as part of their daily lives, you know, in so many countries. Whether they want to use computers or not, they're being required to. So the free software movement has really become something that is important for everybody and not just programmers.
long live free software and good luck with your uh, with all your projects and thanks for being with us thank you john